gram per gram. Animal protein is more effective at building muscle and all the studies when they compare them. I already debunked this claim that all the studies suggest animal protein is superior to plant protein on my last post by providing eight studies that don't support that conclusion. And it looks like it got his attention because he came in and left several comments. But did he acknowledge that he made an obviously false claim? Absolutely not. Instead, he just tagged Lane Norton, who also won't discuss this topic with me as evidence by him blocking me rather than providing evidence. So I asked for evidence and he actually did provide a meta-analysis. So we're getting somewhere. But that meta-analysis clearly shows that the vast majority of studies have not found animal protein to be clearly superior to plant protein. So it actually further debunks his claim that all the studies show this. Nonetheless, there were a handful of studies that did find animal protein to be superior, which led to a slight advantage for animal protein on average. Now, I would love to have a discussion with him about several issues with a number of those studies, but he doesn't seem interested and even said, we don't care about you despite leaving seven comments himself and his employees leaving at least half a dozen more. I mean, that's just very odd behavior for people who apparently don't care. So rather than going through each of the studies one by one here, let me just address the glaring issue that applies to this meta-analysis as a whole. If you recall, he said gram for gram, animal protein is superior to plant protein. That would mean that if you were to consume the same amount of protein from plants or animals, you get better results with the animal protein. But several of the studies in the meta-analysis he cited to support his claim were not protein matched. For example, in one study, participants were put on a vegan diet where their protein intake was 0.5 grams per kilogram of body weight. That's below the RDA or the bare minimum recommendation for the population of 0.8 grams per kilogram, while the omnivorous group in this study consumed almost double the vegans. So that's clearly not a gram for gram comparison. It's almost like he just frantically Googled animal protein better than plant protein and linked the first thing he saw. This is why it's important to actually read and critically evaluate the research we cite. The fact of the matter is, the only studies we have comparing a plant-exclusive or nearly plant-exclusive diet to an omnivorous diet, keeping protein intake matched, have failed to suggest there's any real difference between the two. If plant protein was so clearly inferior, I would expect to see a difference there. So this would be as good a time as any for him to admit that he was wrong. Doubling down when you're clearly wrong is not a good look. So I'll conclude with a summary of Danny Ishai's comment to Sal. There are times when a person's intellectual honesty comes into question. You claim that all studies suggest that animal protein is superior, yet you were provided with multiple studies showing otherwise. Why not show some humility and admit you made a false claim in the video?